So the question is, does God Almighty yeah. require a son the God in any exists. context? Yes. In any context, does as He in, require a son? As in, as we understand God, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No, He's not. But as in, that's what the Bible says. And I believe Where does the Bible say God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Go on, show me. Uh, there's many verses. You can look at the end of Matthew 28, where Jesus Himself says, "Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit." That doesn't mean just because you baptize someone that they all are one God. In fact, if you look at all the baptisms in the Bible, none of the baptisms are carried out in that formula of look the Father, at, Son, Holy Spirit. Look at Genesis chapter one, verse one, where uh, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and empty, and the Spirit of the Lord hovered over the waters. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is there in the beginning. With God. How do you know that's the Holy Spirit, not God the Father? Because God the Father is a spirit, right? God the Father is an entity we don't understand. He's a spirit. God, uh, he? John 4:24. That, that is the spirit of, yeah, exactly. of God. Yeah, exactly. So that is, he's a the spirit. spirit. Yeah. No, no, that's not the Holy Spirit, John 4. Why not? Because I'm telling you, God the Father is not physical, is he? I, I don't know what the Father is. So, I don't think you know what the Father is. Wait, wait. I, if you I don't think you know what Allah is. No, no, if you don't know, then what does John 4, 24 mean? It doesn't say Holy Spirit in that. Yes, you you of, added the Holy Spirit in John 4. It says God is Spirit in that. Does it say Holy Spirit anywhere there? It doesn't specifically say Holy Good, Spirit. so it can apply to the Father? But it's, it's talking about God, so it can be exactly. Holy Spirit. God the Father is God as well. <laughs> Don't try to now. No, wait, wait, wait. When it when it goes against you, you can't say it's only the Holy Spirit and not God the Father because it's going against your narrative. Okay. The narrative is Genesis well, no, one. We already discussed that it's three separate persons. No, no, we're talking about Genesis one. I think you got lost yeah. there. I didn't ask you if you considered uh, the Son as God and the Holy Spirit as God. Mm -hmm. Yes, to me that these three persons, yeah. yes, are each fully God. Am I right? So they're all, yeah. They're are they fully God? Each individually. Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, but individually, God. are they fully God? They're three persons of God. Yeah. That was in question. They're fully divine in nature. Okay. Are you are you a fully one person? Yeah. Are you fully human? I am. Okay. So you're one person. I'm fully human okay. in nature. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Jesus Christ is one person. Correct. Is he fully God? He's fully divine in nature. Yeah. So he's fully God. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is a person, right? Is he fully God? Yes. Good. The God, uh, God the Father is one person. Is he fully God? Yes. Now, how many fully gods have you got? One. How is, make that one God. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, each one is fully God. Is, we're not talking about human beings right now, we're talking about divine I didn't nature. talk about human beings. I know. I, well, I made you count the persons of the Trinity. You're trying to relate divine nature to human nature, and you're saying, I'm one person. Yeah. That's one, right? Because you know the term person? And if, if like one other person here, that's another yeah. person, right? Yeah. When we're talking about divine nature, it's something we don't fully understand. You know who, so you who used the term say, person? Well, it's same as human. Yeah, I agree with you. You know who used the term person? It is your church. It wasn't me. Okay, so if anybody made God into a person, it was a church. Three persons. Exactly, these three persons, this is not the language of the Bible. But it's not three gods. Well, if it's not three gods and you said each is fully God, then that can only imply that they are three fully gods. The three persons of the Trinity, yeah. meaning the three beings. One being. This is the you just being. agreed with me, a person is a being. A human, a person is a human being. A human person. I'm not talking about a human being. being. I'm just okay. talking about. So it was talking about I'm talking about person. the definition of a person. It was talking about a divine person. Yeah. When I'm talking about a definition of a person, a person by the description itself is a being. A being is an entity which is living, which exists. Yeah. Okay. A, hum a human person is a human. Being. Not necessarily human. It okay. has to be living. So divine. A I'm being. A being. Person or or human person? Just a being. Just a being. As soon as you use the term being, you're talking yeah. about a living person who is existing. Doesn't we're, have to be human. About a type of person. You you Genesis quoted 1. Genesis 1 1, yeah. and I said that this floating over the water, the, Holy Spirit. the Spirit, did this say Holy Spirit? Don't please, don't put words in there which are not there. Yeah. Both in the case of John 4 24, mm -hmm. that God is a Spirit, and in Genesis 1, where he says God floated over the water. Mm -hmm. Yes? In both cases, it doesn't say Holy Spirit. It was a spirit. Floating. Exactly. So you interpreting it as a Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is actually a disservice to the Bible. I, I, we're talking about divine nature. So you can't like equate it and say, oh, because we understand human beings as being person, person, person. We have to understand God as being person, person, person makes multiple gods. Okay. I'm, so you're trying to equate divine nature. I'm not actually. I'm using, the, I'm using the language that the church used. The language the church uses is yeah. there are three persons, one being. Yeah. There is only one being. Yeah. Do you agree with that language? I agree with that language. That language is not in the Bible. That that's language is not in the Bible, my friend. It's from, from the church. And that's why I'm telling you, if you're going to agree with the church and they're using human terms related to humans, using the term person, and then when I use it, you're saying that you can't do that. No, but when the church does it, you're okay with it.